Hey you guys, it's Linda. Welcome to my channel. First of all, I just want to say thank you, like a massive thank you for all the love and support that I got on my latest Instagram post about my current skin condition. That is my most liked and shared picture since I started my Instagram and I actually never thought that it would be my bare face with like a current bad skin condition and that is so cool and I think that this is also something that we really need to think about that in this social media community that we need more real faces out there that it's nothing to be ashamed of because everybody looks like this now and then and it's nothing weird like I wrote on my post I've never seen a face tuned face in real life the only people without pores are newborn babies people have pores people have fine lines people have spots that's just something that we have and that's normal skin has texture so what I want you guys to do is to just stop and think for a second like who do I follow on Instagram do I follow people that makes me feel bad about myself feel bad about my skin just unfollow them because you don't need that in your life if you feel bad about it you know what I mean I got a lot of questions about how to cover these little thingies up without cover my whole face in 10 layers of foundation because lately or since maybe six months ago I rarely wear foundation anymore and usually I just wear color correcting concealer and I do fake freckles just because I feel like I want to let my face just breathe and especially when my face is in this condition so I want to show you some tips and tricks on what you can do today first of all I have to say that it's not only about skin care it's also about how you take care of yourself when I look like this it's mostly because of stress that I need to calm down and this condition here right now it's all about stress and eating bad food and not drinking water properly and not working out and i just it's just been too much for me lately and i've been burned out once i don't want to do that again so it's really easy for me to see those signs on when i need to calm down and this is one of them i'm gonna stop talking so I'm going to show you how you can cover them up and my favorite product for this is actually color correcting because I don't like to cover my face in a lot of um, foundation when I look like this just because I don't feel especially not when it, when it when it's cold outside because my skin is like it feels very dry and very weird so this is a color it's called Correcting Conceal and it's from a brand called Emite. I think you say it Emite or Emite. I'm not really sure, but it has one yellow olive tone here and it has one that is more beige and it has one that is more uh, peachy. This one only works for, let's say, light to medium skin. If you have darker skin, you need other shades for color correcting. And right now I don't have anything here, but I can, in the description, I can um, do some recommendations on what you can use. I have a lot of red spots all over my face and I cover the red up with the yellow. Many people, they say that you should cover, up, cover them up with green, but it doesn't really work for me because when I do green on red, it turns out gray and I still have to put something on top of it. But when I do yellow, I don't have to put anything on top. It just, I can just put it on and then I can put on some powder and then I'm ready to go. So no fingers in this. I'm gonna carve out something and put it on the back of my hand. And of course I have done my skincare routine before this. 
I'm just adding a little bit because the yellow will correct the redness and make it look like your skin tone. And depending on your skin tone, you need more or less. So here you see that the redness disappears. And if you have, for example, if you are, if you pick your pimples like I do, I'm a picker, uh, and they turn into, um, like they turn brown, it's harder to cover them up because brown doesn't really have a corrective color. So then you need something that is very covering and very close to your skin tone to cover them up. So you see here, without actually covering my whole face, I can cover the redness. Which for me feels good because I don't really mind the, the spots. But when they are red and swollen and they hurt, because it's not only about how they look, it's also about how they feel. Because usually they hurt and they are very sore. And then I just want to cover them up to like kind of forget forget about them because when I see them I constantly it's a constant reminder of that they are there. So this is one way of doing it. And remember guys not to be ashamed of having bad skin because everybody has it now and then. I think this is a major difference from what it looked like before and I still have a nice uh, fresh face so this is usually what I do when I want to cover them up and I don't want to use a lot of foundation another product you can use is light core crayon from my own brand Linda Holbrook cosmetics this is a pastel yellow shade and as in this palette this one co um, covers up red so if you have this pencil or because this is really good if you have redness in your eye, in your waterline, you can actually get rid of the redness with yellow, which is good. But if you're gonna use this in your eyes and on spots, make sure you disinfect or sharpen them in between. But so when you use this crayon, you can either just dab it directly on like I did here, or you can use your brush and you can dab it on. The good thing with this is that this is waterproof. So if you are applying a foundation on top of it, this crayon will not move. And of course, if you have a water-based foundation, if you have a, an oil-based foundation, it will move the crayon. So you see, it also covers up the redness really good. And you can blend it very, very well so that you don't have to use foundation on top of it. But as you see here, this, I have been picking on these, so they are quite brown. Uh, I am going to show you a concealer soon that you can use if you want to cover up the brown spots as well. Usually I'm also quite red around my nose, so I can use this as a color corrector around my nose. So to cover up more brown spots, I told you that it's good to have a concealer or a foundation or something that is very close to your own skin tone. So I'm going in with a Nobla Close Up Stay Full Smooth Concealer. This is shade Golden Beige. This is good, look. The brown disappears. So any brown spot that I have, I'm gonna cover up with this just a little bit. Like up here. Red is easier to cover up with yellow or olive tones. And if you wanna cover up brown spots, 
if you have brown spots it's easier to cover them up with your own skin tone this is usually what i do when i want to cover up my spots and pimples without covering my whole face and i don't really mind my face being a little bit uneven because i don't really care anymore i don't think i don't know if it comes with age or if i'm just more secure with myself and my skin right now because i just feel like i i don't want to be affected by social media i know it's just face tune i know that people don't look like that in real life and i think it's important for you guys to know as well that people don't look like that people they have skin textured skin don't feel bad about yourselves because you have bad skin or acne or whatever and also take a look on your lifestyle if you if your life is in balance right now if you have to do something like change your diet or if you have to stress down or whatever because that affects the skin condition so so much so what i'm gonna do now is basically to stress down i'm gonna drink a lot of water i'm gonna cook myself i'm gonna take my vitamins I am gonna go to the gym today actually and I promise you guys that I'm gonna take care of myself more and I want you to do that to do that as well because it's really important for your skin because your skin is the biggest organ you have and you need to take care of it from the inside out also to remember some people they have good skin they don't struggle at all with bad skin even if they are like eating junk food every day they're not struggling with their skin but some people are more sensitive i'm super sensitive to every change in life my skin just goes as soon as i do something that my body doesn't like remember that everybody's different and you don't have to cover up your whole face with foundation you can get this no makeup makeup look anyway uh, so my best advice here is color correcting products and practice and I have been struggling with sensitive skin and pimples since I was like 13 years old I think we just all have to accept and we we shouldn't we should never be mean or bully someone just because of bad skin because they probably have bad skin too sometimes with that said, I am so happy to have made this video. I'm gonna link all the products down below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I love you guys. See you again next week. Bye!